Okay. So a couple of things that's set up that we mentioned. Number one, feet width needs to be a little wider, even though we're looking yeah. sort of down the line rather than face on. Mm. You can see the gap between your feet there on this left-hand side, certainly a lot closer than the right-hand side. So now we've got some mm. stability with the lower half. We can move the body a bit better. And again, we talk about posture being a bit more over the ball, spine angle now, and that shaft angle. Sorry. That's the shaft angle there, and that spine angle need to be towards 90. We're getting there, okay? Mm. That one there now for me. Just a bit upright, you look a bit more rounded in the back on the left hand side as well. Mm. A bit more hunched over the ball there. You're not getting in the position. You need to get your shoulders nearer the ground, as we said. That's going to help you hit the ground or reach the golf ball. Yeah. Okay. So because of that old setup, you had to swing the golf club down sort of quite steep. And if you watch this swing here now from this position, as your club's coming into impact there now, this club is in what we call a very vertical position. Okay, coming down to the golf ball there. It's pointing towards near the, near the toe line here rather than your, the golf ball there. It's quite a steep angle to the golf ball. Okay? And again, that steep angle makes it very difficult for the club to square up. So as you come into the golf ball, the golf ball strikes the ball and you see the golf ball now shooting off to the right there. We can just about see it. Yeah. There you go, going off to the right there because you've come down very, very steep on the golf ball. Compare that angle now to this move. Okay, Your lower half starts bringing the golf club down. We have a sort of similar sort of position there. Now if I go back a frame... You can just see how that club now, okay, mm. is underneath your shoulders. Look at the angle that if I take the clubs away. See how this one here now is this side of your shoulder, mm. whereas this one here now is underneath your shoulder. It's such a shallower angle, okay? Mm. So as the club comes back in the golf ball now, the golf ball now can fly towards target. So let's see the blur there. Yeah. Okay, because you're coming in, you can square the club face more naturally. And again, your lower half, that right foot is starting to lift compared to before where it sort of just stayed pretty much flat it sort of rolled a little bit but pretty much flat on the ground okay so yeah. if we can get a better angle at setup get yourself over the ball a bit more with your spine and a bit wider and then the swing thought now from the top of the back swing okay is get the lower half to bring the golf club down think sort of a la throwing a ball you can throw in your club or throw in anything okay get that movement now with the lower half bringing it down so you're twisting your hips out of the way getting your lower half to be sort of facing this way to the left, your hips, you can see now aimed this way now as the club's making contact as you twist through, yeah? And in time, once you get used to that, you'll start lifting off the ground. The only reason it's not lifting as much now, because it's never done it before, you're not used to making that move, that's all. Your right foot sort of fairly sort of stayed flat on the ground for most of your golf shots. So therefore, when your yeah. body does move better, your right foot should start moving a bit more than that. And it will do in time. But at the moment now, it's not just not quite used to that move. Okay, okay. so yeah. better spine angle, more lower half means you can square that golf club nicely. It means you haven't got to try and force the arms over the top and try and square the club face up before. Mm -hmm. If you do that now, they're suddenly just goes over there somewhere. Mm. Okay, because you're just over overdoing the movement. Okay, which you had to do on this one because of the setup and the swing you're going back. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah so we're yeah. swinging flatter. Helps you spread the club face up, get you more power as well, because the lower half's going to work more. Yeah. All right, okay, hit a couple more, mate, and then we'll get on the golf course. Okay, buddy? Oh, sweet.